Hey guys, it's DC here and today we're going to be talking about how to get experience in cybersecurity so you can get your first job. <laughs> Okay, so this question has actually been a bit of a hot topic lately in my Discord channel with people asking how they can get a job in cybersecurity without the experience and that places are asking for entry positions to have X number of years or different skill sets to be able to get a job. So if you're in that boat, this video is just for you. Now, there are a few different techniques to getting your first job in cybersecurity if you're you know, not having too much uh, luck by just applying after getting a bunch of certifications. Now the, the first one is probably the most obvious and um, probably the least helpful and it is to keep trying. These sort of things like getting a, your first job is always a numbers game unfortunately and um, yeah just smashing out those applications and getting as many of them into different places that you can is often a really good way to get a job eventually. It does take time, it is draining and it is going to crush your uh, sense of motivation after a very short amount of time. However, stick in there. The reward is definitely worth the wait. So yeah, just keep going. Now, a way to improve your probability of getting a job, and this has worked for a couple of people that I've talked to, including myself, which is to network. Now, I know people bang on about networking all the time, saying that it's, you know, you really need to get out there and prove yourself and yada yada, whatever. It is actually true. So for example, if there are meetup groups or online communities for different hackers or uh, cybersecurity professionals or blue team, red team, whatever it is in cybersecurity, get amongst it. Get into those groups, talk to all of those people that you can, become friends with as many of them as you can and you never know what opportunity might throw itself at you. I know a guy recently who, he I think he has like one or two certifications, but he's a very switched on guy. And just by talking with people and being helpful in a community for that person, he was able to then gain a job off the back of that. And that is, I know it's a little bit rare and it, it's, it's, you know, it's a rare example, definitely. However, it does work. So tip number one is to apply for as many jobs as you can. I know it sucks, but just do it. Tip number two is to become a part of a community or a group of people who are in similar situations to yourself or who are already in the industry and just talk with them as much as you can so that they're going to recommend you to positions because that's definitely going to be more helpful than just smashing out applications. The third option, which is one that I've actually done myself, is to start your own business. <clears throat> now, I know I have said in the past that starting your own business often requires that you are quite knowledgeable and presentable as a business person. However, this is, there's a slight trick here, which I'd never really mentioned before, which is if, for example, you were studying, okay, you're in university and you're, you're studying cybersecurity as a, a major, right? What you do while you're in university is you start a side hustle. Just start a little business on the side, a cybersecurity consultancy firm or IT business. Now, when you go to apply for a job, you put down that you worked for this particular business, right? And that is, exactly the same and just write it down that you were working there if, as an internship or as paid work experience or something like this, right? Don't say that you were like the senior CEO, elite hacker, god of everything person, right? Because that's not going to get you anywhere. That is obviously bullshit. <laughs> what you should put down is that you were hired as an intern or as paid work experience while you were in university to gain experience on list out the different things that you did. Now, even if you didn't do them, even if you were just learning about them, that's okay. It's still experience, it's still professional experience. And this is like a slight loophole in the system that I know is a little bit dodgy, but it's actually not that dishonest when you think about it. Because chances are that even if you do have that little side hustle on the side and you're only doing small projects for your family, like you're putting in a little uh, PFSense managed firewall for their home network, or you wanna set up a, a nice LAN system for your mate's house or whatever, something like that. That's all experience, right? You just need to document it the right way so that it's gonna be an advantage for you in the future when you want to get a job. Anyway, that's all I have time for today. Please do share this video, like it if you did enjoy it, please smash the like button and subscribe for more. I'll see you on the next one, catch you later.